This is an explanation of the different modes, the source read modes of HDD Superclone. I've already selected a progress file, so look at the modes. It will default to pass through auto detect. That will decide whether or not it needs to use pass through SCSI, SCSI or ATA. <clears throat> now, ATA is only for directly connected drives, either SATA or PATA, also known as IDE. But they have to be directly connected. If it's USB or anything else, it will use pass-through SCSI. Now, there are occasions uh, where things cannot be read with pass-through, such as NVMe drives. Um, in that case, you would choose generic source device. Uh, now, when, well, we'll do a demonstration of auto detect or with pass through. Choose source drive. We look. We can see all our dry attached drives um, <clears throat> and how they are listing um, with model and serial. And you see, these are two W Western Digital drives. This one looks different. That one's USB connected. That's getting uh, a different model. That's getting it from the USB instead of from uh, the drive itself. That's why it looks like that, because that one will choose SCSI instead of ATA if I were to select it. So, we'll go to Generic Source Device. Now, when we list our drives again, this is the information that is given by the operating system. So, we can see the same four disk. And now, it even lists, oh look, the CD drive, the DVD drive which we're not going to do. Um, if for some reason you can't choose it by source device or you're trying to um, clone an image file, write an image file back to the drive, you would choose generic source file, in which case you would choose a generic source file. And then when you go to choose source device, you get um, a file open dialog. So you can navigate to an image file, which I don't think I have available right now, but here is something else you can do. If you go to the file system, and this is the root of the operating system, and then DEV for device, and in here will be all of available devices. <clears throat> it is possible in some cases to choose a device straight from here. <clears throat> It'll basically work the same as the generic source device mode except you're choosing it here and it does make it possible to choose a partition if you want although I don't recommend it it is possible there is uh, another source mode available in the free version and that is direct IDE and if you choose it it will tell you that it only works with PIO mode which means it is extremely slow now if you if you have a drive that just doesn't isn't recognized at all by the operating system and you can't you and, and no matter what you try either doesn't show up or it shows up but then it's locked up and it can't be read you can try this mode um, you would have to put your BIOS uh, for a SATA drive you'd have to put your BIOS in IDE mode instead of AHCI uh, then boot the computer with the drive with the power to the drive not pl plugged in. I mean, power the drive, power down, power the drive up after you boot the computer up, at which point in time you would be able to choose your source drive. And there is not, the only one here right now is this is actually the DVD drive. There are no other IDE drives attached. Otherwise, there'd be model and serial number. I don't know what this anomaly is right here, um, but there are no drives attached at this time because I don't have the BIOS in IDE mode, I have it in AHCI, but <clears throat> it is an option if you want to try to see if you can read a drive that is, does not seem to be readable any other way, and if you can, that might be an indication that purchasing the pro version and actually using AHCI mode would probably be beneficial. Now I want to talk about the fill modes. Uh, fill zero is simply any area on the destination image or drive that has not been written to uh, with good data, means the data hasn't been recovered, it will fill that with zeros and with fill zero, or if you choose fill mark, 
it will fill it with a pattern which is described in the user manual. Um, erase destination will do just that. If you want to pre-erase the destination, um, I believe you do not have to choose a source drive for that. You just choose the mode erase destination and then yeah, so you just choose your destination and you either get the choice of generic block the device drive or image file um, to erase. Now let's look at the mode direct HCI. Now, this is only available in the pro version. I have uh, loaded the license file and restarted HDD super clone to get this to be available. So choose direct HCI. Now when we choose a source drive, <clears throat> you see it looks different a little bit. Um, any drives that are listed that you can see that they have an um, an OS identifier, SDA, SDB, these cannot be cloned. Uh, you will crash your system trying to do it, even if you could. Uh, there's a warning that won't let you. Um, anyway, so you can see this one, I've already hidden or disabled the drive, which that'll be covered in another video. Um, so it is not available to the operating system, so that drive is thus choosable, and we would be able to work with it. Now let's look at direct USB mode. This is for USB attached storage devices. Um, it can be anything from a flash drive to a hard disk, um, a USB adapter for SD cards uh, or NVMe drives, anything that's connected, that's a storage device that's connected via USB. Now, so we'll go to choose a source drive. Now things are gonna look a little different here. This is a generic card reader right here, I believe, uh, attached to the computer. If I had a card in it, it might show some different information, but there's nothing there. This is a drive that I have plugged in. You'll notice it gives, this is um, the vendor and, uh, oh, I forgot what it is, ID. Anyway, vendor and uh, device ID, that's what it is. Um, for the USB device and this is just how it presents itself. You will not see in this selection um, any other information. This is the information you see is what the USB is providing so you don't get any other data than that so it looks different but so we can choose this drive right now and you know I want to bring up something if we look over here you can see this is Passport 120 that is this device so if I select this device and I choose OK you see it disappeared from the OS. <clears throat> HDD Superclone actually took that drive over and yanked it right out from underneath the OS. So the OS doesn't know it's there anymore. It took over the driver for it. Now, if you unplug it and plug it back in, the OS uh, will still see it again, in which case you'd have to reclaim it. Or HDD Superclone will reclaim it, I believe, uh, when you go to connect to it again. So anyway, that's <clears throat> how to connect to uh, USB direct mode. Now the last mode is virtual driver only. Um, you would choose that mode in which case you don't I, uh, I don't think you need a source for that one if I'm correct. You just need the destination because what that is is it only reads from the destination and it presents it as a virtual disk if you have that you must have the virtual disk driver running and choose the mode over here. But that is an entirely another video, but that is what that mode is for.